I didn't say fudge. What? Yes, are you in the holiday spirit to let your seminal fluid ejaculate all over the place talking about action figures? Welcome to Hoodcast AF! With the Chris Miss Crack of the Claw, I am Jonathan Vaughn. And with a quick pack and a spark of the Texas swag in the bong bowl, I am Mikey V Town. That's right. And also, religiously with us, unless he calls in sick, Cobra, are you there? Again. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm okay. here, bro. Healthy and ready to rock. What up, people? Cobra Dad back up in this bitch, and you know what it is. You know it's the thing. Is, AF, baby. You know the thing. Why do we always got to introduce Cobra Dad? Why don't you just jump in? You know, it goes three, two, four, pow, ha, ha. No, we're just fucking with you. Anyways, yes, we're another fucking busy holiday week in toys. Man, huge, huge week. This whole week's been just totally fucked off for me. I haven't left the house in seven fucking days. I've been fucking sick. Just, just, oh my god, man! It just—I I think I'm getting rheumatism. Is that a thing? My wife tells me it's not. From being inside all the time, I think it's. And she goes, "You mean rheumatoid arthritis?" I'm like, "No, rheumatism. I'm stuck in the fucking room. I'm fucking <laughs> sick. I don't know what is it. Like, I got log cabin fever. That's what it is. Fucking yeah, scared of that log, shit. You know when you're, log cabin. your your brain's just kind of frozen because you're stuck inside, staring at the TV or something." Yeah, you know, I don't know. I've had a busy. My kid's been sick, but I've been at fucking work, so I fucking normal same shit with shitty Texas weather. I don't know. Dude, everybody's been getting sick at my clown college. I'm glad I haven't got it yet. I can't I, afford to miss no fucking. Don't day. say because you're gonna end up getting sick, bro. I must have got a huge viral load or something like that. Like just fucking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said load. You yeah. said load. But <laughs> no, like I, I got it big time, man. <laughs> She let up. that <laughs> seasonal ejaculatory get into him. <laughs> he got it off that uh, nine-inch Godzilla he was fucking around with last week. I don't. No, even, I think he wanted eighteen. I was so drunk last show. I don't even fucking remember, dude. <laughs> yeah, remember you were like, doing. you were like, you were like, uh, it's nine inch. I, I could take a nine inch, some shit like that. I could take nine inches all day or some shit like that. Oh yeah, so, I was I was throwing some 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 jokes out there. Yeah. Yeah. See, no, it, none of that like, was real. I don't really take Cobra, nine inches. Cobra's like the hoodcast stenographer because you remember yeah. shit that we have no idea what the fuck we saw. We're like, oh, we I, I listen to the show. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes I'll listen to it when it's good. I'll listen twice because I'm in the car delivering dicks, and you know you got plenty of time to listen to it on Spotify. Well, anyways, tonight on the show, um, I've been watching like this YouTube dude, and I've talked about it before on retro blasting. Uh, Michael and retro blasting and I only like really watch I don't watch his figure reviews or Star Wars shit or nothing like that But when he has like problems with the community and stuff like that, that's what I watch so I want to get your guys' take on this video man, and so what this is is He got an email from a guy who did some crowdfunding shit, you know like uh, Mattel creations for that that retro ring that came out yeah, and so I, I read about this guy too. He posted on the Facebook groups like this long ass message and stuff. But I'm gonna let Mike from Retro Blasting read the fucking message because he also emailed him, and so he's gonna talk about it. And but the reason why I do like like Michael on Retro Blasting is he hates the crowdfunding idea. If you're a big time company like Mattel or Hasbro, because y'all yeah. are already too rich, you're just trying to bank off more richness when you could sell that shit normally. Like he explains all that stuff, but let's uh. Let's see how how he uh, does this here. In that time, and it was starting to look pretty legit and pretty bad. Um, so I went and I researched the situation. But first, let me read you the email. So okay, I'll leave his name out for purposes of discretion. We don't fucking um, care. To retro blasting, I pre-ordered the WWE New Generation ring in 2021. In my research, I've discovered that sometimes it's referred to as the ring and sometimes the new generation arena. I'm not a, it's a wrestling deal. person, but yeah, I did yeah. my homework in the background. Um, he says, I ordered the new generation ring in 2021. In fact, I ordered twice. One order for one and one order for two. 
In 2022, I received the rings. So he would have been receiving three of these crowdfunded Mattel Creations WWE New Generation arenas. Yeah, I got one. And I was anticipating the Macho Man figure separately. I went and did my homework on this late in the game of the initial early bird period of this Mattel Creations crowdfund for this ring that was well over $200. I can't remember if it was over 250 but it was definitely 200 It was 250 Um They did an early bird thing, kind of like they did with King Grayskull for this recent Eternia, where they said if you order or crowdfund or back or whatever you want to call it, if you back, Fuck it's not a pre-order, it's a crowdfund. If you back this project within this early bird window, you get a Macho Man. You will get a Macho Man figure that will be exclusive to that early bird. The announcer group. Macho Man goes I saw for like eighty to hundred bucks back right when now. This happened, and they determined that it was something like only eight thousand of those figures would then be eight thousand and change, or something like eight thousand one hundred one, or something like that. From the number of backers in the window, everybody could tell how many Macho Men figures would have to be made. He says. When I got my three arenas, I received a box with one Macho Man, but the box that should have had two Macho Men instead had two of a Motu Origins figure instead. Oh, fuck. Now that Origins what? figure... They said eat a dick, Scalper. ...was Grizzlor. <laughs> yeah, so he got two Grizzlors, <clears throat> which Grizzlors were... Uh, they were the Mattel Creations, like, paid to order on the M Mattel Creations site. Yeah. You know, and it's just the furry beast that's Grizzlor. And anyone, Ordex. yeah, if you ordered within a certain amount of time, y you got it. It was, you know, yeah. within this, like, a week's date, you know, a week's time, order your Grizzlor. Yeah. So it's not worth this, the fucking shit at all. Yeah. Not Dude, a Macho they Man. They ripped this guy off big I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they said, fuck this scalper, dude. We're going to send him two Grizzlers, two grizzly hairy nutsacks. Fuck him. <laughs> He's got hair on his shoulders. They look like fucking ball sacks, dude. They're just little fuzzy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, nutsacks. He goes on a little bit. He received two Masters of the Universe Origins nutsacks. Pulse exclusive Grizzlers <laughs> instead of the promised Macho Man figure. I now, so the pissed. Macho Man figure was the early bird figure. And he was the third figure offered in this crowdfund for this new generation arena. He said there was no note inside explaining uh, they were replacements Just for a big unavailable fuck you. Macho Man. I called customer service and fuck they assured you, me they would me. fix the situation. I got a return label and sent them back. Here we are over a month since I returned to the Grizzlors. I never get emails from them with updates, so I need to call. I am now told sorry... We don't have Macho Man anymore, and since it wasn't for sale, it wasn't. we can only give you $15 each. What? They can't even give me a different product as <laughs> a replacement. That's not even retail, bro. I, hold on. Dude, uh, ultimate, edition figures, ultimate Edition figures are at least like $32.99. 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah, like 35 bucks. Sometimes you get them on sale. But still, an unreleased Ultimate Edition figure that you can't get anywhere else. Any Here's $15. <laughs> Fuck you, bucks, dude. fuck you, should've pay me. Pay me. They're like, you should have kept the fucking Grizzlords, motherfucker. But Mattel, <laughs> I needed that macho. I yeah. needed it. They would have <laughs> never found those Grizzlords. Why? <laughs> I hope those Grizzlords were packed with cocaine. <laughs> no, I hope the person... I hope the person that ordered two Grizzlers got the two Macho Men. They're like, well, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I'm, I'm dude, selling these 150 <laughs> Dude, you know that probably happens. Some He-Man collector goes, what the fuck is this stupid-ass, gay-ass wrestling shit? I don't want no Macho Men's. Yeah. And then he found out they're like, you know, and, 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 right away when you get them, it's like $200. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he goes online and he looks. He's like, oh, I'm selling them. I'm going to buy two Grizzlers for 50 bucks each. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he goes on. We can only give you $15 each. They can't even give me a different product as a replacement. I explained I can't walk into a store and buy a production Ultimate Edition figure for $15. They are $30 each. Too bad, so sad for me, according to Mattel. So I am totally screwed. Uh, Mattel Creations is a scam. Um, I want to get this story out to everybody. Uh, I told uh, the customer service rep I would like to get an email from them detailing the situation. Which I hey, am I not the worst reader here? <laughs> Look, uh, Michael from uh, um, Retro Blasting on YouTube, like he's he's fine. I, I enjoy his videos here and there, but 
he's not the greatest reader, right? I mean, my, I my mean, Butler's we, the best reader. I mean, we featured him on our show too a couple times. We've done a couple things that Retro Blasting did, yeah, on the earlier shows. We have, but yeah, I, I think the Butler reads way better. And so the Sarah so Connor, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he goes on looking forward to Mattel corporate. So I went looking into this and then asked him to verify. I said, okay, so you ordered one ring and then the other two rings were also ordered within the early bird period. And he said, yes, they absolutely were, which also makes sense because why would they send him Grizzlore figures if he was outside the early bird window to begin with? Why would they send him two weak attempts at a substitute? Now, for those of you that don't know, this Grizzlore figure was a Mattel Creations ex- exclusive, but it wasn't that, a Michael. crowdfund. I, I tuned them in, Michael. Got short it. window pre-orders. This is the very one. It sucks. Um, it's one of two Grizzlores, both of which have been exclusive within the Mattel they both Masters suck. of the Universe Origins range. Yeah. But clearly, this is neither the WWE Origins style figures, uh, nor is it uh, an ultimate edition in the same genre. Fucking like, Macho Man. Yeah. There's a WWE wrestling range that is compatible with the origin style um but it's these are ultimate scale. uh ultimate uh wwe figures that are totally different and um yeah this is ridiculous so he verified that he had ordered all of this within the early bird window is he taking a then shit he sent dude? me mattel's he's response those... it always looks like he's uh sitting um, he's got those sputters in his voice like he's pushing his shit out he's like uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know these origins were exclusive to uh, Mattel. And you hear him flipping his porno magazine pages because he's yeah. he's still one of those guys that buys. You hear hustling. the shit splash into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. This, he's like, and then they sent him a Grizzlor. Oh, oh, that's quite a Grizzlor that came out. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta I gotta wipe my ass. There's nothing around. Oh, a Grizzlor. A Grizzlor. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Wait a minute, so that's that's tic- that's tickling my taint. I might jack off while I'm talking. That's why I oh. can't read. <laughs> Oops, I ejaculated on my keyboard. <laughs> Please find the forward now. email from Mattel that I received today. This is a follow-up to the email I sent you. Um, okay, so here's the email. All right. Dear sir, I hope this email finds you well. I have reviewed your account here on my end, and I am really sorry that you had to experience all of this. I see that we did set you up for a replacement for the WWE Macho Man figures, but you received the wrong items instead. We had you exert the effort to return the wrong items, and we really do want to cater to all of the consumers who were promised a replacement, but then due to lack of inventory, we can only issue you a total of $30 for the two WWE Macho Man figures. Rest assured that we have processed the $30 credit for you and expect it to be back in your account within seven business days. Again, I apologize for the disappointment and inconvenience that this situation has caused you. Sincerely, Mattel Consumer Services. Oh, well, that's nice. It's very nice of them. It's nice. Like, polite. Here's, polite. Here's, here's my problem with this. And I like while I do believe this guy, um, that this happened to him, that he got two Grizzlers instead of Macho Man, the way he says it happened is not how it happens because that macho man was released later you got your arena pack with like the kevin nash and the doink in the pack i have i still haven't even opened mine it's still in the fucking box i took it out of the shipper box but and i kind of briefly looked inside to make sure everything was there because i heard about people getting extra figures in there you know so fuck i'm looking at mine right now like maybe i need to check that i don't want no grizzlers in there you know i'm gonna be honest dude that check, dude that bitch just, out, check that bitch live, man. That that motherfucker should have just kept the Grizzlers because I looked them up, dude. They're going for like 45, 50 bucks on eBay. You should have <laughs> just kept the Grizzlers, motherfucker. You got right. fuck you. You're just dumb as shit. No, the and Macho can, Men are are dude, they're they're way more valuable than that. The Macho Men are well, going I mean, for like at the same 80 time, to 100 no, bucks. But I mean, has a point. Those shit got value as yeah, well. He got the figures. And then he sent him back, and they're like, "Oh, we'll give you a fifteen dollar credit for each figure, dude." So he they just, sent him exclusive figures. So in, he in replacement, right? And he just under he just under oh, scalped I mean, he himself, kinda, dude. He kinda <laughs> gave him a deal, you know, yeah, yeah. He got he a little bit under- more money there. Uh, 
But I mean, you could tell that Michael from fucking Retro Blaster gets uh, got annoyed of us talking shit about him taking his shit because he when he gets frustrated, he speeds up hella fast. Like, oh, <laughs> dude, that's how his videos are. He sits there and thinks for a second, then he gets mad, then he gets you know he drops a little deuce, you know, and then he gets happy for a second, and he's like, but then the big deuce comes. Look, yeah. early Mattel Consumer Services. You see the problems here, right? <laughs> First of all, Mattel Creations white, and Mattel color. as a corporation used the Macho Man offer to get more people to back the new generation arena in a shorter period of time. Worked on me. Now, the cynical of you out there, especially the ones who probably got your Macho Man or Hood whatever, gas. or I got just mine. Don't mind when corporations screw people over. You guys are out there. I know who you are. It's you us. guys are always like, well, you know, it's, it's it's a first world problem, and these things happen, and you know, it's not life or death. Well, they are action figures, you- man. They are action figures. This is we are collecting action figures, man. It's not like we're fucking destitute, really. Yeah. Like, and yeah, don't talk shit. Be lucky we have first world problems. We're good old Americans. We want our shit. Hey, look. I mean, I'm sorry you paid three close to three hundred dollars for this this whole set, and you were supposed to get the special prize that normally comes with it. We ran out of the prize, but you, we sent you a fucking ass grabber, an ass thing that you can tickle tickler. your a, tickle yeah. your balls with. Two of them, actually. Um, yeah. on some real and, shit. They, and you they, were mad. They <laughs> might have been on some like this guy is trying to scalp, and we're not going to let him get over. Maybe my thing is the my thing is though my thing is though he sent them back and only got fifteen dollars each. He could have just kept them and, and made a quick hundred to ninety to hundred bucks. Yeah, I wouldn't have he, sent he, anything back. I'd be I'd be like, you guys, fell. you guys messed up. Give me money. Or, yeah, he, or, or to give me the figure. Note, the guy sent some back because he's not a reseller. He's not a scalper. He's obviously got money to back this type of shit. Dude, he bought so three, he, though. He obviously yeah. is a scalper. What the fuck does he need three well, of them no, for? Well, he got money. Well, you're right. But he's got money, so, you know, he's not really fucking worried about. Uh, but here's what happened. Yeah. This it's dude, the principalities. Here's, here's mm-hmm. what happened to this yeah. dude. Exactly what happened to me when I bought the Sentinel. I thought I was buying one Sentinel, and I accidentally bought two. <laughs> and it was, on a, it was on a credit card. So I was like, oops, oh, well, I guess I'll just sell the other one. You know what? Fast forward today, I still haven't sold the other one. It's still sitting here. <laughs> like, look. But you can't sell shit. He's just got a little dookie on it. That's all. He yeah. just tickled my balls a little bit. That's all. No, I'm, just, I'm just fucking with the fallen. He can't sell. I see it firsthand every time. Dude, I, I, I outsell you most times. Most times. I wouldn't say most times, dude. Mo- most I mean, of the no. times. See, if you, on, sold, if you sold pokey cards, dude. You could probably outsell Cobra. Cobra bangs on them pokey cards, dude. I, I, you you might outsold me at the Puga, but I sold outsold you at Pot of Gold lat, before that. So don't, yeah, don't front. but look, I can't beat you when you're doing, uh, you know, Pokemon. Like I, you know, I don't just a Pokemon that much. Like, but you you you're big into the Pokemon. He sells the authentic Pokemans at the Lapogo. <laughs> everything else is bootleg. It's, Bro, like, it's fucked up because there'll be little kids. They'll come to my booth and be like, "Oh, look what I pulled." And they pull out that pack. Oh, yeah. just pull it out. It's a, it's a tickler. Yeah, pull it. Yeah. It's all full of bangers. Each card's a banger. Come yeah. on, touch my banger. Pull that. it. And I'm just like, let me see that. Oh, damn, bro. And it's I just try to tell the parents, like, look, man, on some real shit, if you see the top of the pack has the little teeth, like the tri- triangles on the yeah. top. No, no, no don't no. don't use any teeth, or, man. Don't or use- not. It's, it, you look at the, the the bootleg ones, and it's always like two different series of fucking Pokemon mashed yeah. together as one name. Yeah, like, yeah, and and it's like super glossy. You guys know if too you, much. And, if you hold them up to the sunlight, dude, you could see the card that they were printed over underneath it. <laughs> he goes on. Like a dollar a pack. If it kids, happened man, to you, if it happened to you, you wouldn't feel the same way. Oh, I'd be pissed. Shit. There are many pro corporate cynical people who say things like, "Well." They've got it in the fine print that, you know, products are going to vary and we they can't guarantee, uh, you know, that they're going to be able to deliver on everything. Thinking about that, Terry. And what I ask myself in those situations, and, and I went and I read the FAQs for the Eternia crowdfund. The ones for the, the arena are no longer 
on the site. But I went and read the other crowdfund to try and get a similar, similar look. And nowhere in those FAQs does it state that product might vary, that they might not be able to deliver what's promised. Oh, the fine print. Who gives a fuck? All right. If I'm whatever sure you guys know what you're promised. You know what FAQ is? Fuck you. Fuck you, yeah. motherfucker. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Pay me. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. That's what FAQ Take this means. Take his Lord. You get no you. macho man. Uh, Tickle your balls with it. <laughs> he, go, he goes on about the uh, toy community. I, I just fast forward a little bit to uh, 15 minutes because we don't we don't have all that much time. But let's let's hear him here. And what if the community, when you told your story, was like, oh, that sucks for you, dude. And then whatever. Fuck you. Pay me. But you were one of those 50 people. Wah. Wah. Plop. <laughs> Yo, who's, who, I laugh. Who, I laugh. Who is this guy again? People... This is Michael from uh, Retro Blasting on YouTube. Retro this Blasting. This dude's a cocksucker. This dude's a cocksucker. No, he's got a wife, dude. He's he's taking a shit, dude. He's just in there. It's the only time he gets away from his wife and his he kids. Sucks he, Look, he sucks balls. He sucks balls. He does. He sounds condescending. He, he don't does. got no. He don't got no dope ass figures. He talks a lot of. Shit. Dude, I'll tell you. We'll we'll do one Fuck of his videos guy. where he talks shit about the Star Wars collecting community and how fucked up they are. And it's really informational, man. He he turned me on to a lot of stuff. Not turned me on, dude. We yeah. don't swing that way, but. Still, there like, you go, he's a brother. smart motherfucker. But yes, <laughs> so I like how, I like I like how cynical and condescending he is. He's teaching me. I'm learning, you know. So, and I, you and so yeah, what if I'm locked up in a fucking room, you know, that he imprisoned me in? I don't fucking. Care. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> let's let's hear what he says about the toy community. He and, sent Jonathan those fucking jizz lords. Jizz lords. <laughs> Call this a toy collector community because it's. It's often not. It's often just a bunch of self-serving people Me? at a free-for-all swap bag, meet bro. that just oh. happens to take place on the internet. Oh, La Polga burned Wait, what? Cobra. The the internet the Polga. Cobra. He burned you, Cobra. He burned you. He's he said Fuck these creations guy, are. Bro. He said these creations are. What'd you are say, Master Blaster, Master Asshole? What? What? Look, I'll rewind it a little bit. It's nothing Fuck but an internet la polka, bro. bro. There's not a lot of commiseration. commiseration. There's not a lot of, you know, backing the other little guy. It's just everybody out for number one. Me. And that's that's whether you're talking social media influencers or, sadly, Wait, where's, where's the people in the toy comment? aisle. Hold on. We got to get to that, that la polka comment. Dude, I, I laugh. I'm, I'm I laugh. Offended. When Nothing people call that. this a toy collector community. Here it is. Here's for you, Cobra. Because it's it's often not. It's often just a bunch of <coughs> self-serving people at a free-for-all swap meet ah. that just happens to take place on the internet. Ooh. Yeah. There's not a lot of commiseration. Okay, no, he's not talking There's not about a lot of. I, he said, I actually go out. He said swap meet. Set up my set with pride. Put out my shit. My effort's good. I'm good with the people. I get 10 to 12 people coming to my booth that don't even shop with me just to say what's up. So that dude's a dick. He's a pe he's a piece of shit. I can't stand his voice. And and please, can we get through this fucking segment? Because I'm I hate this guy. Yeah. So a lot of people do hate this guy. This guy, like people hate him so much that they'll call him a pedophile and all kinds of weird shit and i don't know he'll, personal he'll come out he'll come out on 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 like on youtube crying a little bit and and talk about what people say to him yeah. but not on I, this I, one. but i bet you brother he wouldn't you come know, to the pool backing guy and the talk other little guy shit. it's just everybody out for number one and that's whatever tickles your that's whether you're talking whatever tickles your grizzle. social media <laughs> influencers or sadly people in the toy aisle Oh, he's talking about us. Dude. Oh, Social shit. Media influencers. You just this fucked up, dude. I had a channel yeah. a few days ago. People alerted me to the fact that they were hook, like, hook hey, so-and-so mentioned you in hook the first cast. 10 seconds in some <laughs> video about how they think crowdfunding is a good thing. And I was like, oh, I've never heard of this channel. And so I you know, I went over there. Oh, and, and, uh, fuck this I, guy. Fuck this guy. I had, I had, sorry, I didn't mean to misspeak. I had heard of the channel, but I, I hadn't watched any of their videos before. So I... We don't I, make I videos. We make a podcast. And, um, I watched and uh, dude, I, I would shoot this says, dude like Tommy um, and Goodfellas, yeah. and 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 Jonathan would be like, I'd be like, 
you kill they'd be like you killed them i'd be like i'm a good shot jonathan, <laughs> be, jonathan would be like how can you miss from this distance <laughs> yeah how could you miss <laughs> hey, hey come on dance spider dance yeah. your whole family would have been a bunch of fucking rats you're just a fucking rat <laughs> Retro Blasting guy, uh, has said that uh, crowdfunding for toys from big companies is borderline repulsive. It is, but we, we and do he it. was trying to be diplomatic because that's what Fallen says. The way so says a lot Fallen. of influencers yeah. operate, which I'm not saying it's not respectable, but it can also be disingenuous. Not in this case. I think this guy was just treading lightly, but I responded and said, "No, we kill fucking the I said, rancor, bro. I said it was repulsive. I didn't We're say it was borderline repulsive. I said it was repulsive. Yeah, and, um, you know Ghost Rider didn't and exist then I, with Robbie I, Reyes? We killed it. That's right. Listen to this, listen YouTube? to Hoodcast Repulsive. <laughs> it's what on now. YouTube? What? This fucker's yeah. on YouTube. Huh? Yeah, retro blasting. Yeah, he's not on Pornhub under gay porn, but that's what the name sounds like it should be. Watch his problematic videos, not the reviews of stuff. Watch his problematic uh, videos, man. They're Every, entertaining as fuck, don't, dude. Don't listen to Jonathan, guys. Do not watch anything this guy puts out. I like if the drama. It, no, no. If you watch it, you're supporting him. No. So fuck this guy. Go leave a shitty ass comment on his video. No, don't tell look me. At, I look at everyone's take comment. on shit. He's not a Say, shill like Shardimus or any of those other guys. He's not a shill. He ain't a happy go lucky. Let's support support the com community. I can't even yeah, say he's it. Just a jerk off. Look, I like jerk offs. He's a jerk off. Oh, he likes the grizzler here and there in his hands. Oh, <laughs> look, he says he doesn't support the crowdfunding yet. He has a grizzler there. He has like the Motu fucking crowdfunding shit there. Like, yeah. dude, come on. He he's got it all. He look, he knows what it is. Um, and then I I bloop politely <laughs> told <laughs> the guy I said, "You are a toy dealer. You run." A storefront online through Look, a dot com. Stand this fucking guy. Your take I'm on the crowd issue. I know you're trying to play let him the talk, singer. dude. Is not, I can't does not take align it. with the guy in the toy aisle. And it seems like a lot of people. Right, the pauses. Oh, they is he just done? want someone to tell them what they want to hear shit. so that they feel. Here's what you don't know, Cobra. You don't know anything about dramatic pause when you're doing a show. A shit you, when you're doing a shit. Yeah, when you're taking a shit. You sometimes have to think a little bit. You have to think the push. See, Paul just took that pause. And then there it, it is. happens. There it is. A lot of people don't know. Fallen's got it's, one of those portable shitter toilets. It's chaos yeah, theory. No, his chair, yeah, he's got one of those like old lady chairs that has like a stool. It stool is butthole. His he's shit, taking yeah. a shit right now. Dude, yeah, sometimes like, dude, it's chaos theory. Sometimes uh, you know, uh tiny variations in your hand uh can cause uh you know and then uh, oop, uh, uh, this. the the moral of the story yeah. uh, don't shit on my grizzlore. Uh. <laughs> what they're doing. And then this other writer comes in and says they don't want to stop and think for themselves. <laughs> There's a huge, I know it's a human behavior problem, but it's huge a turn, real dude. problem acutely in the toy community. People are waiting for somebody else to reinforce their bias while at the same time telling them what to do and how to think so they don't have to think about it. Bloop. You done? No. If we're going to be a community. <laughs> uh, here he's back. Then this we have to take like step three second up breaks. and stand behind people like this guy that literally just got run over by Mattel. You hear that? Wait, wait. I think the breaks but look, are let's when talk he's about what he's saying. Are we going to ban? Think the breaks are when he's wiping his ass and looking to see if there's still shit. <laughs> no, he's just constantly wiping his ass. <laughs> you know, you know what that sucks when there's keeps being more shit. You're like, dude, I cut it way too early. <laughs> you know? Yeah, bro, I hate those ones. And then and fuck, you and you're like, fuck, I wiped forward. God, it's paper. on my balls now. Now I need uh, a grizzler. And the fuck, bottom I got of your wrist. On my hey, don't front. It ends up on the bottom of your wrist too. What? Or on your thumb? How does that <laughs> happen? Bro, from wiping constantly, once it moves towards the balls, don't wipe you know too much, gotta... dude. Bro, don't wipe too much. I wipe, it, I wipe until it's fucking bloody, dude. Ah. You're, supposed to... <laughs> You're supposed to wipe front to back, not back to front. <laughs> <laughs> I get confused. My left from my right, so forward and back. I don't know. You got to be able to reach around <laughs> because if their word means nothing and it doesn't. Uh. 
then we shouldn't be buying into these these Ugh. programs. Jeremy. You might be saying, well, Michael, you've got the Grizzlor here. I Grizzlor said that. wasn't a crowdfund. No. It was a pre-order. Shut up. Granted, it was annoyingly low numbers, and then they had to come back with another day of open orders they because did. these companies are just <laughs> idiots these days. Because you need more TP. But this, when you have a pre-order, the pre-order means that the company has already taken the risk on the product. They're already in the process of making it. Cobra and they have oh, he, oh, really? He knows. The, huh? Enough confidence in it that they're yeah, going to take knows. the risk of starting production and then throwing that hook into the water and seeing how many people <laughs> bite. Crowdfunding is, we don't know. We're not going to take the risk ourselves. And then once you give us your money, we're going to sit on it for a year and a half, 18 months, is the case with Eternia. Fuck um, Eternia. But That's as far as community it. goes, there's no community around it. It's all just, oh, I hope I get it. And too bad if the other guy doesn't. <laughs> but you would care yeah. if you were the guy that got two Grizzlors or you were the guy whose sail barge didn't get sent to his house. and Or or the guy oh. who got fucked on two Sentinels and almost got mail frauded. But I don't put that on the company. I put that I'll on FedEx. Honest. If 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 I got fucked on my cell barge, yeah, I'd be fucking heated. That's like a thousand dollars. Right, but do you fucking... expect do you expect the toy community to back you? And no, I expect them to laugh at me and say stupid fuck. And what are they gonna do? Like that's like going to Walmart and saying Walmart right. fucked me and protesting in front of Walmart saying I need all the Walmart shoppers You're to come get protest the cops with me. Called on you for disorderly conduct. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiots! Yo, please do not play any more of this. Your quad, his lord swallowing. I think. I think. Sorry, to, her, is this think your show, keep, dude? I think we keep playing. I it mean, I think a third of it. All right. Well, he's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> almost. I mean, it. <laughs> he's a a serious kid. guy, bro. It blows my mind that there's all this I love that. talk of good feels and all the feels and all this kumbaya crap going I'm on, with on him social on that. media sites I don't like that shit. and toy groups but there's no actual real comradeship You're there's no actual anything he said standing to together and, and dude he's exactly what hoodcast is when i say hoodcast oh, yeah. <laughs> when i say hoodcast isn't hoodcast is as fuck action figures all right. this is not hoodcast let's respect each other and have a joyous time that's not what this is this is all fuck you. That's mine. Fuck you. Pay me, and that's what he's saying. Yeah, but that, this but is way, the community. The way we come off, it's called it's called compadre shit. That's it. Well, exactly. The way it. we come off, we're not fronting. People feel our our flow, our vibe is. He that. ain't fronting either, he, dude. He's he's backing because he's taking he's got, shit. He's got he's got thousands of subscribers. So Are you you saying he's it. backed up and can't ploop? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. He's got a grizzler. Remembering He's where you came from. Kind of thing. There's none of that. None of so that. all of it's fake. Yeah. It's all fake. And everybody's uncomfortable with real. I agree. With Nobody you. likes hearing the real. They like hearing people talk about, oh, yeah, be happy with what these companies are doing for us and be Fuck grateful. That. And, oh, what's good for the company is good for you. Who's saying that? Nobody. Crowdfunding's good. You ain't on the right side. Even everything. though they... They're not making you any promises. They're, it's under the guise of a promise. But really, they don't yeah. have to keep their word at all. And you signed away all your so rights when you bought the stupid thing. Yeah, the stupid thing. You you literally Apparently, let them off the hook. You, you allowed them through it's, agreeing to that fine print. They don't have to actually deliver squat. All right. Does he not know the Church of Action Figures and Collectibles is real and when you pay to the church, you're paying for hope and faith. Right. You're hope. not paying for a product. Y'all right. y'all need some hope. Product. Yeah. And yeah some you gotta, I mean shit. Super seven does the same shit. Mesco you gotta the open shit. your heart uh, and let you the got, Lord you, shine upon you. You gotta open your heart and open your wallet and yeah. the hope will bring you what you want. Well yeah. Michael from Retro. Well, maybe you might need to send a letter to Santa Claus. I, I agree with Michael that the community is fake as fuck. People don't really give a fuck. They don't. They do not. That's why we real. That's why he's talking about it. Like he thinks it's so weird. You're that saying he should be on the show, dude. I'd love him to be on the show. Dude, like, I, awesome I would get along with that dude. We would poop together. I don't care. 
<laughs> we go hold hands on two gonna, different parties. I don't. I'll I'm shit in the tub. It, I'm ready to give him the business. Fuck this guy's condescending voice. And I bet you he's got you're a what, jerk off. You are exactly the rest of the community who's like all yeah. up in arms, saying that that he sounds condescending and you don't like him. But dude, he's saying the real shit. He's saying shit that I'm you don't like. I'm not disagreeing, bro. Not. I'm. Have you once heard me really disagree? This whole time, I don't know what. No, I'm not what are you talking about? No, I, I haven't disagreed really with anything he said because you I've don't know that much. That I don't like him. I think he's a jerk off. Okay, I get I don't that like jerk off voice. But this is like Hoodcast. This talk. is not the Cobra Show Weekly Habit. So he's got a few more words, and we're gonna listen to it. <laughs> Fine then. And the sad part is. They can pick and choose which pie slices of the customer base aren't going to get what's promised and which ones will. Cobra, ain't getting it. <laughs> Until the community He's stands the together Nazi and list. says, hey, we've had enough on behalf of all of us. This is going to keep happening. And eventually, it will happen to you. <laughs> Cobra. And I wonder yeah, how I you'll feel you. when it's you and not the other guy. And and that that's it for that fucking clip of uh bullshit Michael from Retro Blasting. Look, you don't have to like it, but that's dude, I I feel kind of the same that's way. Look at it, bro. We like to talk shit about everything. Blah, 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 blah. And then when and we still are shit, when Cobra starts talking a little shit, you start backing this fuck. I don't have to agree with you, Cobra. <laughs> It's not let's all this is not hoodcast let's all agree together to talk shit equally. This is not what it is. No, it is what it is. Thought this segment would be cool and it ain't. No, you have no fucking idea and fuck you. Let's get to the news. I win. <laughs> Dr. Killamar, the evil alien who wants to police the whole world. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Everyone, with figures and battle gear, each sold separately. You know, and I, look, I, I get the reason why you don't like him, Cobra, but the fact is, we were going to finish his clip and discuss what he was talking about, whether or not you like his poop stylings or or not. I get it. I, I talked all over the bit, but you know, hey, this is Hoodcast AF. This is what we do. We talk Ooh. shit. Yeah, no, it's true, and I get that you don't like him. That's that's a good point. But to carry over that point constantly and constantly. I'm just expressing myself on the show. No, great. You did a great job, man. I mean, last week you bitched about me being quiet, and now I'm talking shit, and now you want me to shut up. Look, there's, there's, there's a happy <laughs> Make medium. Make up your fucking mind. You, you want to hold my hand and take a shit, dude? Look, yeah, I'm Batman and there. Robin, like I told you, dude. No, I, I can't do smells, man. I don't do smells. I just can't do it. <laughs> this week in the news. <laughs> Uh, first up in the news, Mythic Legions for Horseman Studios. They showed off their Father Christmas from their Figure Obscura line. And, dude, this this came out quick. They they put it up. Boom. You can pre-order it or order it. And two days later, almost, you get it because I already got it. And it's uh, right. like an old school Santa. It comes with like a bag of goodies, you know, a Santa sack. You can, you can open up a sack. You know, take a little bit and open up. You get some, like, cool night helmets and shit. Some Templar fucking helmets. <laughs> but, yeah, he comes with a bunch of different shit. And he's he's just a basic fucking night body underneath his, like, Santa robe. And then he's got, a uh, like, a purple shroud that I took off for my picture that I did with him. Because I had him all Assassin's Creed Santa. Like, killing all the other NECA Assassin's Creed. You can see that on the Hoodcast fucking uh, Instagram. But, yeah pretty cool I, I like the mythic legions fucking uh holiday shit yeah i mean i mean you got the krampus right yes which I, krampus did you get the red krampus or the black krampus the original black krampus the red krampus okay. hasn't come out yet i don't even know when it's coming out uh, people still well, haven't I mean, got that if, if you're into the christmas shit yeah it's fucking it's perfect for you it looks it looks dope but i just what am i going to do with it after christmas you throw it in a box, oh, dude. Throw it in a tote, exactly. and then wait till next Christmas when you get another idea to use a fucking Santa. <laughs> it's not too many Santa ideas. Uh, Krampus sucks too. Next, next up on the news, uh, NECA. So they showed off their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two in a preview. Like you can see the sculpt, and you can see the 
the the actor who played Keno. I don't know what his fucking name is, but he's he's old as fuck. Ernie Ray's Jr. Yeah, and uh, is he bald too? Because he's wearing the hat and he looks. He, he, yeah, dude, he's hella bald. Like he's been in uh the movie Rundown with the Rock. Okay, um, he, he's been his his dad's Ernie Ray Sr. and basically they played all the turtles. I yeah I I know two movies that he's been in like Surf Ninjas yeah. and Teenage Surf Mutant Ninja Turtles awesome. too. Moto Surf. <laughs> uh, and they sing Baparan. Ba 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 movie i you know i think i've watched it like within the last 10 years and i still i still enjoyed it surf ninja is still cool <laughs> whatever well it's got rob schneider in it dude you can't hate it it's, it's fucking hilarious rob schneider is now a ninja or, or something i don't even know what he does in that movie no he goes rob schneider is a stapler and he learns <laughs> that being a stapler isn't what it's all wrapped up to be <laughs> yeah no but i know i know that i'm talking about what he is in surf ninjas He's like their stoner. He's supposed to be the stoner friend. Mm. Doesn't but, he become uh, like Surf Ninjas? It's a, it's a you movie, seen Surf dude. Ninjas? Classic movie. It's like, oh, it came no. out like in the days of Three Ninjas and all those kid fucking oh, ninja movies. no, bro. Leslie Nielsen you know what was, I was like up to a in cyborg days, bro? When that shit was on TV, bro, I was on the blizzard like a monster. Look, no, it came out in theaters and then it was, you know, eventually on TV. But like, dude, Surf Ninjas, there's a kid How old who are can you tell the us? future from his Game Boy. How, no, it was six, from brother. The, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so was it Game Gear? Older. It might have been Game it was, Gear. It was Game Gear. It yeah. was Sega Game Gear. Dude, so Cobra surf got nigga, four surf years on us. Fuck balls, bro. You don't even know. Look, look, now you think you're you you you're making the show by by ramping up your fucking anger about everything, thinking that you can be like one of the bit fellas again because you missed that episode. He's, he's Sorry, coming I got out like, he's I coming got out like he's coming out like Kelpie the Pimp from No Jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that movie. No, nah. Dude on on the internet. Yeah, yeah. none of that Mighty is coming suspect. through. But okay. But yeah, what, the, the sculpt. But I'm of, not Kelpie. The sculpt of Kino, you can barely see Kino, and he's on his uh, little scooter there. So you know, it's gonna be you know a, a big package where he comes with like the scooter. I don't know when it's gonna be released or when it's coming out or if it's gonna be a loot crate thing. I, I don't think so. I it, think it's either gonna be loot crate or uh, Comic Con exclusive for next year. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a wide release though. No, I think it's Fox. gonna. I, I think they're gonna go hardcore with it and like make it be like some sort of exclusive because it comes with the scooter. It comes with pizza boxes. It's got the hot pack for the pizza. I, I have a feeling they're gonna pull a thing like, well, this is our Comic Con exclusive for 2023. So maybe they'll have a pre order on the NECA store. You know, more than like likely that. they will. Yeah. Sounds like something else that'll suck. Yeah, I don't even know why you're on the show. Have you ever seen Ninja <laughs> Turtles 2? <laughs> no, he's never seen it. He doesn't even know what the I, secret is. I've of... seen... No, the secret of the ooze. Come on, baby. What is the His secret? No. What is the secret of the ooze? Well, I've been trying to ask my old lady that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's... But she still keeps wanting it. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, uh, oh, Cobra's on fire tonight, dog. Dude, you, you look. Don't tell yourself you're on fire. That means you suck, <laughs> right? That's not how it works, dude. <laughs> Wait till well, one of there, us tell you. The best there was Cobra. <laughs> Cobra down Twenty on the minutes in the top. show, I'm patting my own back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Barry Horowitz ass motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Marvel Legends. So uh, they showed off their Craven the Hunter from the Spider-Man animated series. And he has like mm. it's the same figure repaint. But he has juice. black pants, you know. Yeah, I, I'm it, juiced because I don't have I the craving. Yeah, I like that figure, but I just don't like the open like face look to it, like that the screaming face. Yeah, yeah. But I, just, I, I just, do just, like the way the uh, lion kind of uh, shoulder garb is. It yeah. also goes onto his back and kind of fluffs out and shit. Yeah, I just it, reread. It, it the, pretty good. Yeah, it's I just good. reread Craven's Last Hunt, the the Spider Man. Mini because if you have a black symbiote, I need this craven. Mighty, yeah, and you get that craven. I mean, that's all, dude. Yeah, that's some good fig talk. Also, with Marvel Legends, they showed off their their re release of PS5 Spider Man, um, but they updated the body, so it'll be a pinless body. I'm not sure it from looks, which one, but it's, it looks good. 
I, so I'll right. probably I'll probably get it just because it's, it's going to be a carded fight. figure. So, uh, yeah. but also their X Men three packs, which is you know Gambit, Banshee, and Psylocke, and yeah. then the other three back yeah. is Jubilee, Forge. Storm, and Forge. Those are available yeah. for pre order, and they're non exclusive. So is the Blob, which looks his face sculpt looks dead on like Chris Farley to me. Yeah, dude, it's dead it's, on. It's, a, it's still pretty cool that they re released. Really, the you got a Chris Farley top. vibe from that, huh? Yeah, dude, look at his face and then look at Chris Farley. Like he's doing that, like Chris Farley, like down by the river. Dude, I, I like, like the legs. How they have that kind of ripple it, with the fat. You know what I'm saying? If you put a karate gi on him, dude, you can make Beverly Hills Ninja. Or you get a better head scope and you make a fucking bulk. Ooh. Yeah, maybe, but look, Ooh. you might have to because those figures are never going to be made for Power Rangers. Bulk and Skull, and I don't know. I just don't think they're ever going to be made. I keep calling it yeah. every year, and we're close to the end of the year where we do our predictions and shit for the next year when we do the Plasties, the figure awards. Um, still I, I, I hear you guys didn't really appreciate those three packs with the yellow and blue suits, but I really like them. They're fine. I mean, they're just basic re-releases of different bodies yeah. with different repaints. I mean, it's cool. Like, they're doing X-Men, and they're going to sell because they're X-Men. I'm yeah, not exactly. going to pick them up. I just don't need them unless I get them for dirt cheap. But, like, say you're not a huge collector, and then you're, like, getting into it. Those two Oh, two yeah, packs absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Are a good way to start off because you you buy two two packs, and you got a whole team of X-Men. Yeah, but how often was Gambit in his fucking X-Men gear? Yeah, that's that. You got a point there. It's a shitty era, you know. Come on, like, like you, even when the rest of the team would go to that, he always still had the trench coat and the. Shit. And plus, like, people don't want that version of Banshee. They want a real Banshee, you know. Yeah, like I mean, give me the Banshee with the whistle. Like, remember back in the day, the Toy Biz one. Yeah, and he had the fucking whistle you blew in him. <laughs> that, that was gnarly, dude. Like, bring me back stupid gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool with stupid gimmicks, but like they do sell me, dude. They do work. Yeah. Uh, but also they had pre-orders for uh, uh, Corsair, Kid Omega, Monet, uh, Cyclops, the White Clean, and then a Chamber, which I, I think looks really fucking cool. Chamber's the dude with the Robbie Reyes body, right? With the fire head? Yes. It's literally like it comes <laughs> out of his mouth, right? The fire comes like, out of his mouth. It looks like it's yeah. coming around around his head, though. Like it yeah. looks like he's morphing into Ghost Rider. It dude. does. It looks Robbie badass, Reyes dude. Body, dude. I like it. I look. I was like, they had to do something with those Robbie Reyes bodies from that fucking Haslab we killed, dude. They're like, hey, we'll put a fucking fire head on it, dude, and boom, it's uh, this guy now because <laughs> yeah. it looks nothing like the fucking character that they show the picture of. You're like right. the fuck, dude. You're right, Fallen. It does look like it's a Afro fucking fire that comes around. Yeah. Into it his looks face. cool, dude. It's a good effect, man. And is that molded as part of his head, or can you take that off? I I, I don't know. I think it's probably going to be a separate part. Okay. Like on their Ghost Rider figures now, the the morphing Johnny Blaze one. Yeah. Like you could peg his head off and then put a, I think the collar on. No, but his the the one with the Johnny Blaze, his head is actually morphing though. Oh, uh, I could have sworn they had one with like a fire effect. Uh, maybe yeah, they like have half a, his face is full. Yeah, they, I mean, they might have an yeah. added effect, but I don't know. Uh, moving on to uh, Storm Collectibles. So they showed off, finally, their finished version of Minoru Suzuki from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I want it, dude. There is a chase version. The I, normal version is he's in his black pants. It looks good. I mean, it's a, a dope-ass idea, but... Yeah, but that fucking face doesn't look like him at all. It's close. It, the tongue-out face does. Yes. Like the the, the non He looks more face. Caucasian is what I'm trying to say. Well, the skin paint's not. Well, he does look really white, though. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about that. I mean, like his facial features, he doesn't look Asian. Though. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not exact, but it still looks pretty fucking good. The body type is not there because it's too thick. He's too beefy. But he's hell buff, right? Yeah. But still, I look. I'm gonna get it when it's on discount because yeah, I know I don't it'll think it's discount. gonna sell out. A couple months it'll discount for 30, 40 bucks. Every time I think you guys are wrong. I think that I think that guy's got a huge like underground following joint. You guys should know that. Dude, you know, you know what? So well, I'm already you know more wrestling look, than I do. Look, so I did, think that's a that's a picker upper and so I, did I, Hulk Hogan. Hulk I'm Hogan already planning on it. Hulk Hogan has a huge underground following yeah. and other up above ground following and all the storm collectibles that they made for him, like they went. Yeah, they they sold a bunch of them, and then yeah. 
they went to fucking discount and that's when I bought a bunch of those. All the yeah. different Hogan's. And they I'm were gonna buy so you hold out. So you're saying hold out. Hold out. I'm gonna yeah, I am gonna buy Suzuki regardless because I like the figure and I want more new Suzuki Goon. He's not and, Suzuki uh, Goon, he's uh Mizor Minoru Suzuki. Ma Manure Suzuki. And who the Manure. fuck is Suzuki Goon? <laughs> this is a different dude. That's that's the name of his dojo. Yeah. And that's the ah. dudes that's uh certain dudes that are with him. That's his click. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's his click. Like Archer's in the Suzuki Goon Dojo. The Lance Archer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean if you have a Lance Archer figure, geez, you're gonna want Suzuki so you can build yeah. your Suzuki And plus Goon's this table. figure's dude, sixty dollars. Lance dude. Archers in my inventory that I've had since that fucking wave dropped. They'll never sell. It's because they dropped the ball on him, dude. Like, he was hot for a second and they made the figure, and they're like, well, he's got a figure now, so we'll just not ah, fuck him. Dude, and every <laughs> single, almost every single AEW figure is now like five to 10 bucks everywhere. Yeah. For some reason, there's something going on with AEW where all their figures are dirt cheap now. And I think they have not, all of them, dude. They're not showing, they're not re released or releasing new figures right now. They're, After Series 1 and. One to three. I well, think I went to Target yesterday stopped. to go get some like, fucking medicine, like at six o'clock in the evening, dude. Right now, Target is stacking their shit. They had like five of those Britt Baker Supreme shits. Yeah, yeah. And I was tempted to grab one to flip, but I'm like, nah. If there's five here, nah, no, no. Don't nah, buy nah, nah, any nah. AEW figures to flip right yeah. now. No, no. Unless it's buy, a chase. Yeah, buy Unless AEW. It's a chase. Yeah, if it's a chase, buy it. But if it's like if you're into like a fig fed and you take action figure for target, you can buy some, you know. Right. But and unless it's like that. a figure that you want to sit on for a while, like a sting will eventually sell for good money. If you want to egg hatch it, you know, sit on it like a fucking chicken. Yeah, let him die and shit. MJF, Ricky Starks, like he might kill figures. himself or something. You never know. Not, I mean, he he is like a big Jesus dude. You never know. I, I think Darby's gonna die before Sting. <laughs> I don't think so. Dude, that dude's taking some fucking wrong bumps, dude. But still, Minoru run. Suzuki, it's sixty dollars, man. It, it's a that's wow. hefty price yeah. point. It, I'll it wait. is hefty. I'll wait till forty bucks. But I mean, for people, a wrestling figure. But I, I mean, mean, people have paid fucking fifty bucks, fifty, sixty bucks for Super Seven figures. Dude. Well, I mean, I've right. sold I mean, a Blood and Guts Britt Baker for fifty bucks at the Pulga. I mean, so people can. And we'll pay for that shit. No, I know. Yeah, but but I'm but saying I mean, it's gonna go down before it goes up. So, yeah, right. and plus, Storm, Storm collectibles like they have their problems. Like even the Hogan's that I have from them, like some of the arm pegs don't fit securely in there. It they're hit or miss here and there. Maybe they fixed all that shit, but some of my figures like shit falls off them really easily. So, yeah. but I still like Storm as a company, and their figures are cool. And like I think their NWO Hogan is is better than the Ultimate Edition WWE NWO Hogan. Yeah. I, I think it's just a better sculpt and everything. I'd right. punch the shirt from the, the official one and throw it on there. Yeah, and even Speaking though... Speaking of punching shirts, man, that fucking... The, the new Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy's got a nice tank top on it. Soft good. Yeah. Yeah, and he's, he's going to be dirt cheap here soon because he's still packing in at fucking Target's. Yeah, he's super packed in. I went he there was four of those. I don't even want when that I went one. the other night. I don't like yeah. that era of Jeff Hardy. I just don't short hair Jeff Hardy. I had, I, well, I was stuck with two of them because I bought a case. Came with the Roman Reigns, the, the which is a really good ultimate figure. I got that one. The, I, I like it. Yeah. With the belt and the long hair and shit. Yeah, it's cool. That 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 one's a good one. But unfortunately, there was two of those. Instead of it being a full case of a Roman Reigns. It was two of those and two of those fucking Jeff Hardys. Yeah. Uh, moving yeah. on to uh, Hot Toys. So they showed off their 1-6 scale Doc Brown. And this is the Doc Brown from the Twin Pines Mall when he first unveils a DeLorean. <laughs> the bad thing about this figure. And look, if you're a Back to the Future collector, oh, good and for you. But don't buy this shit. They reused an old Doc Brown fucking head sculpt that looks nothing like him. Added a bunch of new fucking accoutrements that he can have. And it just looks like shit. It, it's just fucking terrible. Like, I don't know how they, well, I mean, they fucked that up. I mean, the Back to the Future figures, even from NECA, haven't really had a good run, dude. There's a lot of those Mormon fucking shelves. Well, because there's not, like, like yeah. there's a lot of it's, Back it's to the Future fans, but they're not all Back action the figure collectors. Fans. Yeah, right. Like, they just love the movie. It's not they like rather, they want they the fucking... Spend, 
they the probably want a Funko TVs. Pop be- before they want yeah. a figure. You yeah, know or they'll spend thirty grand on some Air Mags. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> right. They'll buy the fucking shoes. But you can get the shoes for dirt cheap now that aren't official. You know. Yeah, but you know, there's fucking the shoe game is ridiculous. They shots out, kick some plastic. Uh, Yo, what up, Chris? They also showed off their uh, She-Hulk from the uh, She-Hulk theory series, Attorney at Law, on Disney Plus. I think Marvel Legends nailed the face better. This one looks I, pretty good, though. Well, Marvel Legends like the, had the five head, and they had the other one that didn't have the five head. So yeah, uh, you but know. I mean, I, I wouldn't buy it. I don't think too many people wanted to buy the She-Hulk unless you have a red and yellow Daredevil, because then that makes sense. Well, there's hot. Shit, toys. That was another <laughs> one. That was another one I Target. There was like six She-Hulks at fucking Target, dude. Really? Wow. Those, yeah. I think those will eventually sell, man. Like there was a ton of them, and I was like, "Damn, I'm glad I got mine off while I could," you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's there's collectors who who collect hot toys of Disney plus fucking Marvel bullshit. And look, this She-Hulk sh- show is fine. I don't think it's that rememberable. Like ten years later. No I already care. forgot about it, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Daredevil looking dope as fuck, and I'm, I'm me being a fan of the muscular. You know, honestly, character. let me ask you guys. Yeah. Is She Hulk hot? Yes. Fuck yeah, dude. When she's She Hulk, dude, she was banging. Yeah. When she was the normal lawyer chick, I was like, oh, I'd be pissed so, if I woke up next to that bitch. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Just because she's green, do you think it's still pink? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's purple. Yeah, I think, no, I think it's purple. I, I think it's purple. I think it's purple, dude. Yeah, it's purple. I, I think it's purple. Because yeah. green and pink make purple. Yeah. 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 Is that are you are no. Yeah. Red and, goes, yeah. What does red Hulk, and blue makes purple? What doesn't matter. What color does Hulk bleed? Green. Yeah. No. Okay. He, then he that bleeds, Yeah. Look, I don't uh, know about all, so much body chemistry, but I'm pretty sure. Like it's not pink down there. I'm it's sure pink. It's, it's got to be pink. No, nah, I, don't think I bet so. you it's got a little. It's a purple, little purple snapper. Once you spread the green lips, you see nothing but a pink sea. No, I think the mission is to find pink when you're down there. But you know, yeah, you're just not gonna see it because it's probably gonna also gonna be dark. <laughs> you're not gonna find pink. It's gonna you find gamma. I wonder if no, it glows. Plus, plus, you're not gonna uh, be able to look because, like, yeah, she- like after you eat her twat. You have like a green tongue, right? Yeah, she's like radioactive, dude. Maybe it glows. Wait, do you become like a Hulk because like her blood got right. you? It dude. might go to Red Wings. If yeah, she squirts <laughs> on you. You get her DNA on you in you. Yeah, and you well, become right. a pussy eating Hulk or your Red Wings, dude. And that's when like you go oh, like your tongue God. becomes a Hulk. <laughs> not you, but your tongue. Like it's hella long. And strong, you know, like. Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> but we know uh, Hulk type people; they don't go, they don't go down. That they don't do that. <laughs> I go down on her. <laughs> well, you're not a Hulk person. You don't have to. You're short, dude. You can just stand up and go to it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, she just forces your head down there and like accidentally sign squeezes up, your fucking bro. brain out through your nose. <laughs> yeah, sign goes, me up. Oops. <laughs> There goes uh, Cobra's grill. Fucking AD. Uh, right. Moving on. Mezco. <laughs> so they shut off their, uh, well, they re-released their Goz- Gomez uh, X-Men holiday. fucking holiday. You know gear. why? It's because they had a shit ton of them because not many people fucking ordered it because it was still up for it's churches. Just, it's just it's a regular. Gomez figure with a fucking sweater. Yeah, and they yes. just released fucking Union Gomez. Why the fuck are you going to want to buy that other Gomez? Right, and you don't need a holiday sweater, man. Go to fucking Hobby yeah. Lobby and find one, you know, for fucking Dude, you guys anything. fucking have me so tempted to buy. It is it Gomez and what's the other one? Vapor? Yeah, yeah Vapor's fucking... And that's Eddie. the hip-hop dude one, So right? wait, wait for a re-release of Vapor. They're going to have another Vapor that's going to be hotter than the first one. It's gonna yeah. happen. It's yeah. gonna because right now you're gonna pay like three hundred dollars for a vapor. It just yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, or you can find it for cheaper sometimes. But if you look out, you can find it wait. for one fifty retail. So vapor is the blue hip hop yeah. looking dude, They're both, right? Yes, and he's like yeah. got spray the spray. Is the insect guy? Yeah, the cockroach. Yeah, I, I like the Gomez. I don't really care for the Gomez so much. I I mean, I really like uh, you know cousin Eddie. The the blue yeah. skull guy. I I think he's fucking hood as fuck. I think he's. I think he's dope. the best skull that they made. Yeah, <clears throat> but also with Mezco, they showed off their uh, Dick Tracy. 
from the comic book series, not from the movie. This we is Dick- talked about this Dick Tracy before, the flat top Dick Tracy two pack. I think back during convention con season. We did, but now but, there's and a, now it's up for pre order. But there's also isn't there? There's a single pack of just Dick Tracy. No, it's the two no. pack. It's still the fucking two pack. Wait, so it's, you you it's, can't it's just 195. get you can't just get a dick. No, you can't just get dick. You gotta get a flat top with the dick. Damn, I don't want to. You're screwed. And, now. And I don't want to. One ninety five. Look, it's one ninety five for a flat top. You just top want the dick. dick, right, bro? No, just want the dick. Look, yeah. But here's the thing. I've never even seen the movie. <laughs> never. It's, not, it's, 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 it's actually up your alley. Hold on. You guys are all breaking up. Look, I've I've never look I've I've never even read the comic strip. I don't give a fuck. I know it's all gum. Yeah, but you like bullshit. shitty movies. You like shitty movies. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, you like shitty movies. No, you're you are down like with bat nipples movies. and shit. I like yeah, movies that I'm are down with that. bad what? here and there. Yeah, exactly. That's what my point is. That you like them shitty ass movies. You should love. You would love Dick Tracy, bro. Would I? I like Dick Tracy, so fuck you. All right, I I mean I like the comic strip. Mike likes a lot of shitty movies. Shitty, so. the movie is shitty. Well, I mean, it's got prune face. If they're gonna put a two pack out, face. they should have did prune face, flat or big dick, boy or fucking nutsack head, nutsack poop dick. Like yeah, all, dude had a big head. Really? Baby face. Yeah. Baby face had a big nutsack head. The only good thing about that fucking movie was Madonna. Why was she yeah. great? She's because not she great, but she's just hot as Madonna. fuck. Ah, at the know. time, she's fucking annoying. At the time, bro, she's always come been on. annoying. No, but just knowing who she is and seeing her, ah, uh, she's fucking annoying. Fuck her. She's still hot though. Yeah, is yeah this... she fucked over Weird Al. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, she did. I saw the 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 true story of Weird Al in his movie, dude. She really fucked him over. But Weird Al got his in the end, so good for Weird Al. What, what do you, wait, 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 wait. He got it in the end. You didn't know Weird Al and Madonna were a thing. Yeah. No, they were together. Yeah, they made a movie, yeah. they made a movie about it. Dude, he purposely covered one of her songs to make her famous. Yeah. Dude, and then Weird Al like went to go kill like El Chapo, and then she would she was like, "Well, we could just take over his whole drug lord business and and, and be rich." And, and he's like, no, "Yeah, that's not my thing," you know. Right. Yeah. Weird Al just being weird, you know. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he's no weird, so he's like, "No, why? <clears throat> I got to keep it weird on over here." We went to polka parties, dude. They're like legit things. Oh shit. It's the cops. <laughs> dude, that Weird Al movie's fucking great, dude. I need a Weird Al figure like by Harry Potter as Weird Al. <laughs> I know they got the white and nerdy one, but I want Harry Potter as Weird Al. I think eventually Weird Al will get his own figure line through NECA, you know, with a bunch of different weirds. Like, like, well, you have the white and nerdy, right? Like, dude, I need the Michael Jackson, I'm fat Weird yeah. Al. Like, or no, the Eat It. Oh, the Paradise. fat one would be great, too. But yeah, you got to have Eat It. Um, just a normal just nerd owl with the with the you know Hawaiian shirt and shit. You got you just gotta have it. Yeah, so yeah. many good ones. And like you know, if I just saw them in stores, I would UHF? buy them. UHF is great, dude. I love Best UHF, movie, right? Yeah, yeah. That don't suck like that Mikey Blaster bullshit you were playing. With. Nah, yeah. dude. Yeah, if I, UHF is like look awesome, dude. You ain't How do you culture, think Hookcast came to exist? How do you think Hookcast exists, dude? We ripped off UHF. I could sit here and just go la 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 That's what I hear when you talk most of the time anyway. Well you should get your ears checked, jerky. Um Next up, Star Wars. So uh he showed off their the vintage collection, get this. And uh ATST that also Fire. comes with uh, Chewy. Chewbacca. Chewbacca, yeah. yeah. Now, well, hey. hold on. How many hold times on, has this ATST been re released? Uh, numerous. A ton of times. Four, five. Five. It we first came out. Jedi. Wait. So when, when? Yeah, but it don't come with the Chewy. Yeah, but with the with the with the capacity to hold them in there. Yeah. How old is this Chewy figure? It's the original one that came it's out. It's the, the original one. Yeah. From the it is. the first almost first wave of Black Series it, figures. That's because they got boxes and boxes of this shit just lying around, loose figures and boxes. So dude. let me tell you, and like throw it on a card. Black Series came out in 2013. That's when they got the license, Hasbro, whatever. Started doing uh, Black Series, which was also 
It wasn't the vintage quarters. collection, but it was three and three quarter and six inch. So it was Black yeah. Series this, Black Series that. And yeah, the first wave was like Luke and a couple other bullshit stuff. And yeah. then, uh, you know, and Chewy was that same year, I'm pretty sure, 2013. And then yeah. fast forward, uh, I don't know, five years, then they finally made an ATST. And it just yeah. came with the gunner pilot or whatever. But still, dude, it's just re releasing shit. Nothing new. Exactly. No fucking matter. Oh, exactly. but they did have something new. They showed oh, off the, the indoor gun. the indoor base. The, the indoor, bunker. The indoor bunker, exactly. And you Which get comes with a sick ass stormtrooper. The rebel commander in disguise as a scout trooper. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. But it's sixty dollars for like a hollow fucking yeah. indoor box with a, a yeah. stormtrooper that you kind of need if you're a collector. And right. you know how much the fucking vintage series figures are now? They're like twenty six bucks, dude. Twenty four, twenty five bucks. No, no, like these. The, no, the, the they're fourteen ninety nine no. for yeah. the parted joints. Yeah, and you no, can get them on sale here, here and there. Out here, I seen the Bubba Fett, the the Bubba book of Bubba one going for like twenty four ninety nine. I'm like the deluxe, maybe the deluxe. You're talking, oh. about, the, you're talking about the six inch. We're the 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 one. No, it was about a vintage on the card. Three seven five on the deluxe. That's no way, it's twenty bucks. It's, yeah. On the deluxe, maybe the one that comes with the two stormtrooper helmets and everything. Yeah, so that's a deluxe. Okay. Yeah, it's a deluxe set, and he comes with all the fire uh, adapters to all his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one's yeah. like, yeah, it's normally like twenty five, twenty four bucks, you know. And you can get it like, I mean, I, Amazon had it for twelve bucks the other day, or but you know, they released door thing before though too. Oh. The anniversary for Return of the Jedi. What? And I think it came with fuck. I could have swore they re-released the indoor thing already though before the bunker. The, this Not that bunker, base. bro. No, I could have swore no. they have. No, never seen it. I could have swore it came with a, a Leia. And then, and and then what's Luke dope is the, the stormtroopers nope. removable helmet action, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that's. And possible. then you get to see the face of one of the 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 troopers. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's it's the uh, rebel leader. In disguise from the Return of the Jedi movie, remember? It's the guy with the head bandana. He's disguised as a stormtrooper. Oh, okay. I'm He's the old man with the headband. Yes, 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 yes. And then Chewie's, and he points Dude, at Chewie. Dude, that's a must fucking have, bro. For collectors, yeah. Not yeah. for me. <laughs> <laughs> but well, hey, I mean, I mean, important. you probably could flip that end or base with your painting skills. Yeah, I could. I mean, for people who need to do some sick ass diorama, but look, I, you, I'm not gonna pay fucking sixty dollars and then repaint it, which I could do easily. But still, it's just, so it, you know, I'm not into it. It's a, it's a fucking really? box. It's a box. It's a fucking box. Uh, next up, Mac Farland. That's right, motherfuckers. So he showed off his DC versus Vampires, which is the gold label Batman exclusive to Walmart. Mm. The vampire Batman dude. Uh, yeah. Looks okay. Whatever. Uh, but also he showed off the Reign of Superman uh, Eradicator. And he's the all black version. It's like solid yes, the black Eradicator. with gold glasses, which with the I, don't, gold glasses, yeah. I don't remember any of this. I don't either. Like... Look, he. I I know. I remember seeing him on like covers of comics, not but like I that. never picked that shit up. Yeah. Originally, Eradicator was like this black being in a Superman gear with like similar gold glasses or something like that. And then in the Reign of Superman, he wanted to look more like Superman, so he fleshed him out. But he still had that Gambit RoboCop fucking chin area. Yeah. Um, but this is the gold label version, Walmart exclusive. So. Could there be a normal version where it's like he's got flesh tone eradicator with the big glasses? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. You know, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of the blackface, like the solid blackface. I was like, man, I was waiting for the, like the the weird Gambit cow. Well, Superman did blackface, so he's canceled. So you know. <laughs> that too. Well, fuck it, man. That's it for news. Let's get to uh, recent acquisitions. If I think a discount, girl, you gonna give it to me Walmart employee, target team member Give me that shit, give me your phone number Call me later when it's in stock, yo We got that Casey Raff 2-pack 
gonna sell it to you out the motherfucking back. Out the motherfucking back. Life. Gonna be there. Gonna take it real time. Recent acquisitions of what we picked up this week, gentlemen. Y'all know that yes. because you're on a delay from online that you can't sing the song. Either it sounds all fucked up or you're just way off time. I'm just letting you know. Hey, don't I don't know. I don't good, note, good notes from the producer. Yes. Well, dude, I, I try to run a professional ship here. and I Dude, he sounds way better now that he's got a, uh, headphones and shit. I was trying to pause. There? I was trying to pause for dramatic effect so I can ploop here in peace. <laughs> but Cobra wasn't letting that happen. Get no. your shit out your Grizzlor. Get your Grizzlor yeah. shit. Go home, get your Grizzlor <laughs> shit, Cobra. Rub your nads with your Grizzlord and turn it into a Jizzlord. I think it's Grizzlore. Not Grizzlord. Grizzlordy. And you were supposed to be the He-Man guy. You're supposed to, you know, and I recently watched that movie on, on cable today. Pretty, oh, the Dolph Lundgren? Good. Yeah, still good. It, it's, a, it's a classic. Still holds up. Yep. That's horrible. Kind of. It was terrible. It was terrible. I fucking <laughs> hated it. I was <laughs> super Shitty sick. Ass. And I was like, man, I'm watching this just because it's, it's on, and I, I don't want to change the channel. I'm laying. I'm on my deathbed on the fucking couch. My skin is growing into the... It sucks. I think it's one of those Japanese synthesizer thingies. Yeah. Like Jonathan's, gro Jonathan's like growing roots into the couch and shit. Oh, no, I did. I didn't leave that for a fucking week. You know, you know how many Big Brother episodes I watched? Yeah, I don't know. And <laughs> shitty movies and stupid shows that Whatever, I never, watching, fuck. never intended you're to watch. That, you're watching that below deck show. I don't even know what with the people that work on fucking tour yachts. I did. I did buy below well, decks. I did watch a yeah. boat show. It was on Netflix. I watched that 1899 or whatever it was. And uh, it never answers anything. It's 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 about some ship that gets lost and finds another ship that's lost, but then it's all mind fucking fuckiness and then it never explains yeah. anything. Well, until the very end episode and you're like, Oh, but wait, that doesn't explain anything. Okay, whatever. Fuck you, pay me. Dude, so what'd you guys <laughs> pick up this week? You can go, go first, ahead, Mikey. Oh, I'll oh go. Well. All right, well, so everyone talk at once. <laughs> everyone talk at once. Just go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Well, I picked up my comics. We did the weekly habit. We wrapped yep. up Batman. Fuck Batman. I'm never buying the comics again. Uh, um, I don't believe I, that. I, I don't I, uh, but all I picked up, like really toy wise, was I picked up a 3 0 Iron Man Mark 43. Which, which is, is badass figure. Dope. Fire, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a big boy toy. But wait, you were um, hating on it on the uh, message boards, on the Unworthy Collector yeah, uh, message board. Yeah, but after groups. hearing you rave about it, and then Johnny Watson, I think it was, yeah. raving about one, I was like, well... Because he just got an Iron Patriot, and I told him to fucking yeah. snag one. Well, you guys were bitching about the batteries. That's what it was. Fuck yeah, the batteries not is the, what I was bitching about. Not, but, not the toy, yeah. Yeah, the batteries. But I, I, I got the batteries ordered from Amazon, you know. Woohoo! Oh, it's me, man. I'm excited about getting a bunch of AG1 batteries. <laughs> yeah, but Mikey, you were talking about that the Sentinel Iron Man <laughs> had, like, better articulation it has better or some It does have better posability. <laughs> it's a little more, like, the, it doesn't, like, I got it. The, the three zero has got a lot more bulk to it. So it doesn't kind of have as much fluid it's motion heavy. as, it's like, heavy. yeah, it, it's a hefty figure. I mean, I mean you've seen the Sentinel one. The Sentinel one is a dope figure. It is. And it's got great posability, but I, after you and Johnny raving about it, and I thought, yeah, I need a small Iron Man with lights. Dude, I had to buy one. All the independent armor that kind of pops out and does all this crazy shit, yeah. like goes, that, like on the chest, you can do all that. And even his it'll back look, flaps pop up to I, slow I him down on his descent. I think it'll look good if I get a Tony Stark figure, like the SH Tony Stark. And then I can have it there with all the armor popped out like he's getting ready to get into it or he got yeah. out of it. I think that'll come out pretty fire. See, and I, I really want, like, to, for 3 Zero to continue their Iron Man line with all this die-cast shit, and they need to do, like, the death of Iron Man figure with the beat-up fucking armor and all that shit. Yeah. That, I, and a Tony Stark head, dude, like a good one. Or I'll get yeah. the one from that two-pack and repaint it and put it on there. It would be kind of cool if, like, the face mask could be fucking Tony Stark, but it, it lights up, so yeah. it can't, so... Well, I mean, if it came with a different head and you can pop off the head and, you know... Yeah. I don't know. But to each their own. 
Yo, what'd you yep. pick up, Cobra? Uh, one thing, I got me a robot. Uh, I got me a Transformer from the 89 line. The Slug. The fuck up. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Stop no, you didn't. Being a fucking no, cunt. come on, bro. I'm Look. always on point for that. Look, just stop being a fucking cunt. That's all. That's yeah. all I'm trying to say. Well, that's going to be hard. But anyway, uh, yeah, I picked up, up the... <laughs> Nobody even wants you here. No, but we, we do love you, but we would rather have Mike from Retro Blasting here. Love that dude. <clears throat> <laughs> yo cobra did you tell mikey you were gonna try to fuck with me yeah now i'm fucking with you yeah, yeah you, i was trying to fuck with you you went on secret he, message board saying you're gonna try yes. to fuck me no and, and now who's getting fuck. fucked who's getting no fucked? but this little fuck mikey Fagtown, went and snitched <laughs> on me before the show's even over bro we, well, yo. Well, see this is what it is brah can't you shut up? I'm busy. This shit. <laughs> you, you can't come into the family and think you're gonna fuck with the family without the family knowing you're fucking with the dude. Family. Look, it's we gotta have a sit down. He's like this. He was a made Yo, man. Yo, Cobra, get you sign by. T- yeah, he's like, he's like, uh, uh, Tony was a made man, and before you touch a made man, you'd have to get a sit down. And if you didn't get a sit down and you touched them, you'd get whacked first. You got to get the okay. You, you got to get the okay. But yeah, thanks for snitching on me, V-Town. Mikey, well, thank, thanks for snitching on him. <laughs> no, but I can see it, dude. And I can feel it. You know. I'm I, bringing I, the heat. I, 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 you know. It's Hoodcast. We started this shit. We brought you in the family. Well, we <laughs> know. We let uh, rip go so far. We know that Cobra got like a whole bunch of nothing, nothing. you know, so it doesn't matter. Absolutely nothing. Right. Stupid. Actually, oh, actually, God. actually, God. actually, I did pick up a transformer as I was trying to say. A transgender? The, yeah. uh, sl- the slag, a.k.a. it was sludge. Be- no, it was slag before. Sounds stupid. And they changed, they changed his name to sludge. And that's the brontosaurus. Uh, Dino oh, one. Okay, yeah, it's the big I, deluxe I, box one. Yeah, I picked that up. When you could have picked up a headset to have better audio, how much was he? Well, he retails for about 53 and then with tax like 57 How professional do you it, want to sound? But I got it from my, my homeboy Seneca, Sendeezy, Toy Squad shout out. I got it from him for 40 bucks. Okay, good deal. Yeah, but got a headset for twenty. Yeah, but see, I didn't pay for it. It's like <laughs> pay as you can, my man. Uh, it's a favor. It's a favor. My man, pay. let me hold that over here, it's, it's and then I'll pay, pay him over there. <laughs> Rob from Peter to suck off Paul. Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I picked up that that Mythic Legions like Santa figure. Shut that, the fuck up! That You're fucking a quick. fucking cunt. That's not how the song goes. <laughs> it goes like this. Shut the fuck up, Cobra. Yeah. <laughs> stop being stop a fucking, being a fucking cunt. Cunt. Yeah, Stop being a yeah. fucking cut. See, I, okay, I got you. You're a little off. Go ahead and smile. But, uh, I also, ahead, I also picked up that uh, unmatched LJN uh, Darby Allen figure, which I have the prototype well, it for. Sense. Yeah, it makes so. sense because you have the prototype. So the prototype isn't fake. It's a real shit. It it's real shit. Out. Yeah, no. It's real shit. It's real That's shit. That's what makes that prototype oh. legit now. Easier this is real sell. shit. I'll beat you in the fucking <laughs> head till it's bloody itself. You want to see yeah, what's like, fucking real? He's like, oh, I'm laying here. The cop look, asked me, what are you doing? I said, I'm resting. Austin here? Yeah, I'm resting. Then the cop picks me up. He says, hey, you're going to tell me something today, tough guy. What did I tell him? Go fuck your mother. Oh! Is this going anywhere? Reliving what we did two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra still wants in on that episode. It, you know, I don't know. It's hey, we got is. we got to go back and remix it. And we can put Cobra in there. Yeah. And have, like the remix version on Patreon. Yeah. Well, shit, man. Let's, <laughs> and then I come to and they ask me, hey, what are you going to tell us, big boy? Oh, you still here? I thought I told you to go fuck your mother. Oh! All right, let's uh, get to uh, coming up with the gang. Yeah.
wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang. Wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang. Nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang, wir kommen nachts mit der Gang. Is what they do worthwhile? Fuck no. Come on, man. 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 On, if you want to come to the gang, it's easy to do. Use that hashtag HoodCastAF on all your action figure photography. What a post you do on Instagram because we're going to see it and eventually we're going to talk about it because I'm going to announce that we're going to do an extra show maybe once a month where we do talk about your action figure photography and we will discuss it on the Patreon, which is only $3 for the wait, broadcast wait, wait. Tech tier. Wait, are, we, we are we taking Kevin's spot? Dude? Yeah, are we jacking. No, he don't we're talk about. Him. He don't talk about hashtag no. cast AF. He talks about hashtag unworthy AF. But we're gonna oh. do our own where we talk about people who post who on. Gives a fuck about oh, hashtag. We're, we're gonna AF. we're gonna punish him now. We're gonna yeah. punish Look, him. <laughs> no, but our takes are not like. Oh, I love this picture. I love that. I love that I, he used I, this. I, I Mine is like fuck this dude. This fucking yeah. dude. Like needs to learn a lot more. He needs to go to my fucking action figure photography school, which there is none, because you can't be as good as me. That's not the fucking shit you were saying about that other fuckhole we were talking about earlier. No, bro. look, that fuckhole. If he, dude, I'd repl if he wanted to be on Hoodcast, I'd replace you super fucking quick. Then, wow, real quick. <laughs> look, he's probably got a mic and headsets and and all kinds of pre-orders. You know, like he he knows what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> He's got that production dick. value. He knows where to pause when to fucking pause. That dick snot could never fill my shoes. I'm going to let you yeah, know. He would have new shoes that look really good and be awesome. Yeah, we call them Mikey New Shoes. <laughs> yeah, Mikey <laughs> New Shoes. So we have Mikey they, we had, he had the new, there was this guy in the block that always had the new pair of kicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we called them New Shoes. But then until yeah. I stepped on the shoes, Cobra stepped on the shoes, but then he shot Cobra in the head. And I said, hey, man, uh, you're in. You're in. You did it. You <laughs> bipped the main man, but I don't care. I green light it after the fact. <laughs> That's not how it works, bro. You're going to get whacked before he gets whacked. No, I don't think you understand how the Hoodcast Mafia works. You don't. Okay. Because Put also, when when you, when you when you go to hoodcastaf.com, you can leave a voice message. It's right there on the fucking side. It's easy. If you can't see it, I bash your fucking head until you can fucking see it. Then you make that call. Then you can do it. You, you bash Cobra's head for being real, but you're not gonna bash V Town for snitching. Look, Mikey the snitch. Look. He snitched my right guy. Snitch. <laughs> Mikey the snitch, bro. <laughs> he ran it on us all. Thanks for interrupting my commercial for us to... Of to, course. Yeah, go to hoodcastaf.com. Leave that fucking voice message. I already told you. And, uh, you know, you can ask we us a question because we know everything. You can be one of the many characters who's on a show. You can also hit the hamburger button, which is the menu up there. Hoodcastaf.com. Hit the hamburger button. That's the menu. Then you can go to merch, buy one of our fabulous shirts, buy them. You buy this shit right now. There's a bunch yeah. of good shit. I mean, we got presents to buy. We need that money, man. Yeah, but uh, we got some voice messages here, so let's play them. This one, it doesn't say who it's from, but uh, let's hear it anyways. Hey, Cast AF, what's going on, Steve Z? Just want to say fantastic show last week. Uh, really enjoyed the format. Mikey TV, obvious that you put a lot of time and effort into producing and writing the show. Uh -huh. uh, you know, <laughs> when Jefferson is able to deliver his lines without stumbling, it's Jackson. Uh, you've done a great job, Mikey. Um, Cover Dad, a little disappointed in you uh, not showing up. Oh, that that just can't this happen. Is two on weeks Hood ago, Cast AF. Hood Cast AF is a commitment. Just like the listeners are committed, the hosts have to be committed. So it's God, Texas Hoodcast Burn. AF, and I really need you to, to step up your game. You know I'm one of your biggest fans, but I need you to commit. Ooh. Ooh, and then <laughs> we got tough. Arango, who started off strong with the Steve STD joke <laughs> and then faltered right after that. Uh, and I think he ended with a fuck you or something. Uh, not very clever. Bongo, we call <laughs> you a 10-second man. You're good for the first 10 seconds. You shoot your wide, you lay over and go to sleep. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Ooh. God bless Texas. God bless Hoodcast AF. Dude, strong burn on yes. Bongo the Clown. I mean, bingo. <laughs> but also, dude, letting C-Dad know what the fuck's yeah. going on. 
and then obviously his call was, his this call was from last week it was supposed to be played there but we recorded early so y'all y'all need to get your calls in before thursday because sometimes we do record on thursday so i know most people leave their voice message on thursday and friday but you know that's that's when they get played so yo yeah. cobra also needs to show up to fucking work <laughs> yeah you gotta commit bro you gotta commit to this fucking project man and just write a show yeah who pigtails you you guys are going in and out actually make some popular um we got another call here this is from the uh uh we now go live to the hoodcast field reporter Thanks, guys. I'm out here on the field, and I have a question here from one of our viewers. They're asking, have you ever thought about 3D printing for your action figure collecting hobby? Have you ever thought about printing heads and accessories with a 3D printer is what they're asking. Great question. Back to you guys at the studio. All right. Thanks, uh, uh, Hoodcast Field Reporter. I will take this question and and uh, uh, tell that caller that he absolutely does not listen to the show because we have discussed this multiple times. And, yes, I have thought about this many of times but still have not purchased a 3D printer. And I know that they come in all different shapes and sizes and cost, you know, somewhere around $300. And but it's it's the fact of getting the files and what to print and how good of a print job you can do. Now we do have friends that do uh, print these things. Uh, don't you know that, Mikey? Steam Power Mum, uh, Vio, <laughs> Vio Labs, and um, what is Night of Living Geeks? Uh, what's I forgot his name now. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who fucking yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can find them on there, man. Lots of people. There's some people who do some devastating fucking like head sculpts that are like scans. I don't know how they do them. Like this dude that I've been buying from Head Gimmicks. He's on Instagram. Um, I hope he's not fucking me on this last order because I paid him through uh, friends and family. So if he fucks me, man, his name is going to be all over the place <laughs> on this show. <laughs> but if, if he did send me a, a a tracking order, so and it's been a couple weeks, and, and I know it takes time here and there, and people he's, are busy. He's going to send you a fucking Grizzlord. dude. It, <laughs> look, it could be a tracking number to someone else's shit. I don't fucking know, but he did send me the uh, Ric Flair head I ordered from him, and it is fucking phenomenal. I use it as a day brokey head because it looked like yeah. the lead singer Guar to me, and that's what I used it for. But I ordered, like, a couple of new Bray Wyatt sculpts with, like, the Uncle Howdy mask and, like, also a Fred Durst head sculpt. Uh, <laughs> but, like, yeah, so they're supposedly on their way, and they should be here sometime next week. And I'm if they're not, dude, heads, uh, head gimmicks is going to be plastered all over this fucking podcast. I'm going to be bad-mouthing his name. But for right now, I'm talking super positive. So let's just yeah. let that, you know... Don't don't be messaging him or nothing like that unless you really want something from him. But uh, yeah. you know, just just hold off. But look at his shit. His shit is <laughs> fucking. The guy who does it is uh, Gonzo Customs on also Instagram, and he does a lot of good custom work. But these three D head sculpts he does, dude, they're fire and they fit right on the wrestling figures. They they are they are fucking cool. So let's let's just see when my order comes in because I did pay through friends and family, so I cannot be reimbursed. So I gave him about like sixty five dollars for a bunch of fucking. And it, look, if it's gone, it's gone. And yeah, I yeah, will... but you done business with him, so yeah, once before. And yeah. but look, I told he knows I have a podcast and stuff. He knows what I can do and and what my reach is. So right. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it, we can get our follower numbers up on that page and then be like, oh, this is real big league. I mean, his followers aren't huge either, so he could be, be like, fuck you, I don't fucking care. And, like, look, dude, I'm a paying customer. I will come back to your shit and buy more because the shit is fucking awesome. You know, so why would you ruin a good customer? You know what I'm saying? Because you can make more Maybe money could. if you just keep my $60 or whatever it was and then I don't buy from you, like, you know, multiple times after that like dude you could make a lot more money for me rather than just taking one fucking little st- right but you know that's building I'll a work. customer base and we we know like how that works cobra dad knows a lot about that definitely it's better to get the slow nickel than the fast quarter so mm-hmm. you don't want to fuck up people that are trying to support you you know what I'm saying? yeah it's all about the community and also fuck yeah. the community. Yeah. <laughs> According to your Mike, your other fucking guy, yeah. Bunch of fucking degenerates. They're not a community. They're just guys supporting the other Fox. Uh, let's see. We have another call from uh oh, it's uh Bongo I mean Bingo the Clown. Mm, 
Hey kids, it's your old buddy Bingo! Alright kids, so this week Bingo's gonna play kind of a little, a little light and just tell you guys a little joke because that's what the clown is supposed to do, right? It's mm-hmm. supposed to make what's funny. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So Get this guy goes to this cat house. And he tells the woman there, look, I'm kind of hard up on my money right now, but I have $10 and I'd like to spend some time with one of your fab, fabulous ladies. Okay. So the woman says, look, buddy, I don't know, I don't know what you're going to get for $10, but I'll see if I can find someone that's willing to, to work with you. So she calls her old fucking Carol, and Carol comes downstairs and Fuck fucking Carol. takes the guy and says, "All right, ten bucks, good enough for me. I'm having a slow day, uh, a slow day." And they go upstairs, uh, and the guy has his way with her, and he fucking goes around, goes up, pulls up his pants, and goes around home. Okay. Well, three days later, the guy comes back, and he's fuming mad. He's pissed off, and it tells the lady, "Look, lady, I was in here three days ago, and I spent I spent some time with one of your ladies, and I got crabs." And she said, "Well, look here, buddy, you paid ten dollars. What do you think you're gonna get? Lobster? Bingo! <laughs> All right, yeah. All right. Come see your old buddy, Bingo." Behind the dumpster out behind Wet Dreams on Georgia Street. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fucking. Yeah, uh, uh, he got cut off. But uh, I'm pretty sure he stole that joke from my grandpa who's dead, too. So. <laughs> 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 fucking A, dude. You know who he had jokes actually about? He's talking about Teddy Hart. Oh, and then shit. Teddy Hart moved into the cat house, and he raised cats. If you ever seen that documentary, it's on uh, Paramount Plus, the app. No, it's it, on Peacock. It's on Peacock. It's on Peacock. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's on Peacock. And it's a it's it's about Teddy Hart, who's the cousin of Bret Hart, and is dude this dude this documentary. Holy shit! This this indie film producer thinks it follows he's, him for ten years. Thinks he's gonna make this like weird great reality show about this pro wrestler indie pro wrestler teddy hart related to bret hart and the hart family and this dude is a cat juggler he can flip cats and like make them like flat and made the dude he he breeds persian cats but yeah. he doesn't really do it he makes all his bitches in his house do it dude Ooh. yeah and then people turn up missing there's deaths there's all kinds of crime like i didn't know all this shit about teddy hart i knew about the wrestling porns and stuff he did what's it called Teddy Hart, cats, cons, and crimes. Something like mm. that. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's there's probably about ten episodes, but or something like that. But it, yeah, it's it's good, and you learn a lot. And it, dude, I love Teddy Hart as a wrestler. He was he was in like a, a lot of like fucking cool matches. He was in that MTV league for a long yeah. time and had some great. So you like there. him more now because he's a piece of shit. Well, dude, he's a legitimate right. piece of shit. Dude, right. most all a wrestlers genuine. are pieces of shit. Not cockamang, but I'm saying, like, dude, a lot of wrestlers, dude, they're just normal dudes who get in the shit. They don't want to work a real job. <laughs> they just become pieces of shit. Right. <laughs> like, like the uh, action figure collecting community. <laughs> yeah, bunch of fucking degenerates. <laughs> uh, we got another call here. It is from the Pot Dog. Pot Dog. Yes. Dog. yes. Ooh, what's up? It's the Pot Dog. <laughs> Who let the dogs my out? my favorite podcast to tell you all, you guys fucking rock. But every now and then, I got to come and dial it back a little bit. Because you guys did a couple jokes last week. And I know you wanted to come piss people off. You wanted people to call in and say, fuck you. But I'm going to call in and say, hey. I know suicide is very, very serious, but you have a mind, and that mind is stronger than all of our emotions. So next time those bad emotions, those nasty thoughts come creeping back in, come walking back into our mind, I want you to remember old Pot Dog telling you that you, you the listener, can be strong enough to grab that fucking emotion and slam that some bitch to the ground. You can beat it. 
Your mind is more powerful than any emotion. The pot dog loves you all. The pot dog's out. Peace. <laughs> I like the who, who let the dogs out there. I uh, think he was referring to our, our Tommy Oliver joke. Yeah, positive thoughts from the pot dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very suicide cool. is a bad thing isn't there now like a, a hotline like it's kind of like 911 but it's like 988 for a suicide hotline or something like that I don't know what don't it is know. I've never never called a hotline to commit suicide well it's not like it, I mean but it's like three numbers now I'm pretty sure that you can call and talk to someone I don't know what it is because I've never been in that situation and I'm sure people who have been in that situation don't know it either but I'm I'm not going to Google it right now because I need my phone to, like, play these calls. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I could have saved a life, but I'd rather play this next caller. It's, uh, I don't know. It's from somebody. Hey, Chest AF, what's up? It's Steve Z. Steve Z, you hey, could have saved a life, but Jackson you didn't. Jackson was in charge of the uh, calls last week. Uh, I guess he didn't want to play mine, or maybe he doesn't know how to count past four. I'm not sure. Whoa. Anyway. Cobra Dad, uh, good to hear your voice back on the show this week. I uh, think maybe we can make it two weeks in a row uh, this next weekend. <laughs> It'd be really great, man. Um, Mikey TV, you bring your A game every week, man. And I just don't know how you're able to manage bringing that much energy and that much knowledge to the show every single week. Uh, once again, great job. Uh, Canadian Bounty Hunter, just shout out to you, man. Uh, you know, I got your back. I know you don't need my help, but if ever I can do anything for you, you let me know. Otherwise, God bless Texas. God bless Hoodcast AF. Thank you, Steve Z, uh, PhD. Uh, he could have saved a life by letting me Google the uh, suicide hotline number, but uh, we'd rather hear from Steve Z. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> twice. We got Steve Z twice. Right. And he's calling from the future. He's, well, no, it was from this week for last week, which is oh, yeah, his earlier call, week. like because we did it on Thursday. So, right, yeah. you know, but uh, you know, anyone can call in. It's great. And whatever. Steve Z, keep up the good work, brother. I want to get him on the show, dude. <laughs> yeah, we can get him on. He's Jackson in. Jefferson. Yes, <laughs> I go by Jackson Jefferson, Jay Fallen, all kinds of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Oh, fuck that guy. He's a fucking loser. Who's richer than I am, you know. Well, I think we did it, gentlemen. And I uh, think we sir. Did it. Greetings, purveyors of filth and exploitation of the smuttest tacular smuts. This is a uh, original from uh, Mikey V Town about his uh his his own playing with toys, the uh, Mikey Snuff Goratorium and Pizza uh it's something i think it's a song i recorded when we were doing that bits on the show of my stuff coratorium yeah and now like a year later dude here it is <laughs> i forgot Welcome it ever existed to mikey v town's snuff snuff coratorium and pizza arcade that's right welcome to the fucking pizza shack you see the fucking bodies hanging Oh, 
Queen turn this shit play? Yeah. yeah. Why not? It's banging hard. V Town, where can we find this on, on social media? Yeah, Let yeah. me on the podcast, Patreon. You gotta send me the link, dude, so I can post it up on the Patreon. Okay. I mean, it's on the rap chat. I mean, you have to send me the file. Like, I have it here, but I don't know if I can. That's right. You can Actually, I can re- I can record and throw it up there. Yeah. You'll never make it out. Not once, not twice, never again. Well, we don't say goodbye. We say. We say. Good journey. Good journey. Yeah. <laughs>